Hey friends, in this video, I'm going to show you an example of a simple chat with PDF OpenAI Assistant with streaming capabilities. I'm using a Streamlit front end and also whenever a file is uploaded, it gets attached to a new thread. Okay, so this is a new feature that just came out with the file search feature with OpenAI Assistant API. I'm going to show you how the code is running on the back end so you can also implement this in your workflow. Check it out. Okay, I made another video earlier how you can deploy Streamlit chatbots. Uh, I'll link the video here. But in this video, I'm going to focus mainly on the upload and create thread function. Uh, this is a new function that I just wrote up. So you can create a new file like before with the files.create function. But when you're creating a new thread, all you have to do now is just attach these files to the thread. So OpenAI made it available. Now so you can attach files to threads and you're no longer restricted to just the assistance. For more information, I would recommend checking out the API reference uh, for the file search feature. There's uh, tons of new additional uh, features they've just released, so definitely check it out. Basically in this function, what I'm doing is uh, whenever a file is uploaded, I am running the files.create function to create the file first and then I am creating a new thread with that file ID uh, to start up a thread with that specific file. And then later on, I'm going to append messages to the thread and you're gonna see that in a bit. This function creates the streaming generator output. I made another video, definitely check that out. We're gonna dive into the front end now. So I'm gonna use the ST functions to uh, create the title, captions, and then also I have a sidebar this is where the user will be able to upload their uh, PDF files, etc. So basically here, when the PDF file is uploaded, it's going to run the upload and create thread function. And then the output would be the thread ID. It's going to just put it in the thread and then add that thread ID to the session state. As you know, the session state in Streamlit allows uh, the persistence of the thread throughout the whole conversation. To understand more about the session state, I'm going to link another video here so you can uh, understand in detail. Okay, for the chat interface, we're also making sure the messages are also stored in the Streamlit session state so that it persists throughout the conversation. And we're also looping through all the messages, uh, the assistant as well as the user, because Streamlit runs from top to bottom every time uh, you send a query. So it ensures that all the messages for the conversation is getting displayed in the interface. Next up is the prompt or the uh, chat input box. Every time you send a query into that box, uh, it's going to run the ensure single thread ID function. And then it's going to append the user's message and run the stream generator function to generate the assistance response. Hey, now, if you want to make applications simple or complex using OpenAI Assistant and Streamlit, make sure you join my growing community, the GPT Pioneers Club. I'm going to put the link in the description so you can go ahead and check it out. I put content daily to help you succeed with your OpenAI Assistant and your AI projects.